April marks the month of the military child. Last night, Carthage Central held a ceremony honoring military children in the community. 7 News reporter Chad Charette was there. Trumpets blared and colors were raised as Carthage Central School District honored the youngest members of its military families. Our students continue to demonstrate remarkable courage and resilience, serving as beacons of hope and strength for all of us. Military children make up more than 40% of the district's student body. Fort Drum Garrison Commander Colonel Matthew Meyer took time to commend those students for their sense of adventure, courage, and especially adaptability. Change is in the nature of military kids because they grow up with it. So change is expected and in many cases, change is good. These three kids that took to the podium are no strangers to change. In fact, they've grown to love it. Because of all the travels I was able to do living in various places in our country, I now know that traveling is something I will not only enjoy, but will prioritize for the rest of my life. From the busy streets of Seoul, Korea, to the serene landscapes of Enterprise, Alabama, my upbringing has exposed me to the diversity of humanity, broadening my perspectives and deepening my appreciation for our military. Military children have to make a lot of sac sacrifices, but a life rife with amazing experiences make those sacrifices worth it. After the ceremony had concluded and students received their certificates, we caught up with Sergeant First Class Carcamo Silvano and his daughter Maria. They'll be transferring to Georgia soon, so the ceremony hit home. It's really nice to see that the community is recognizing um, the struggles that the kids go through, so it means a lot. The big event may be over, but Carthage Central School District will be hosting a number of spirit days as the month of the military child continues. Chad Charette, 7 News.